So today we're going to take a look at how you can use the and statement in Excel. It's a pretty useful tool and it's kind of useful for like scenarios like we're going to set up here. So basically here we have our students and basically we need them to get 70% or 70 marks on each to basically pass and we're going to set up a statement to see if they passed or not. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to type in equals and 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 what we're going to do with that is first off we're going to check the first one so what we want to do is we want to check if it's greater than or equal to and our pass mark is 70 so we're going to do that and then we're going to put in our second test which is going to be test 2 and we're going to see if that is greater than or equal to 70 and then all we're going to do is simply close off our formula click off the tab as you can see there that's false if we change this one to 70 that tab will become true we can easily t check this on all of them without typing it out. Just simply drag it down. And as you can see, you can see up here in our formula bar that it's correctly moved all the relevant tabs down. So you can see here that it's tested both of these and we have to have two positives to be a true. So just for a show again, if we made this one down here 70, that would become true because they are greater than or equal to 70. If we change this down to a different level so let's say we made this let's go up to this one just go on to this row 13 here and if we change this statement to 50 so let's just say so just to prove it and we change this one over here to 50 so we're making both of them greater than or equal to 50 that one now becomes true so that's how you use an and statement you can also use it to check for words or anything that's in the obviously in the cells thanks for watching guys please like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time